Six things I don't do. I don't let my kid hold my cell phone. How true is that? I mean, I don't even let them look at stuff on my cell phone. If I was like, unless there was something I wanted to show them. My phone is not there for their entertainment. It's my phone. It's not an excuse for me to keep them busy doing something. It's a way that I can practice um, saying no. Um, it's something that it's pretty easy to be consistent on. It's something that um, I don't ever want to share my phone if I really don't want to share it. Uh, I don't mind if my wife uses my phone. If you were at my house, you could use my phone. But with my kids, it's a uh, it's one of the places I have a boundary and I like it. It's great practice for me. It's taught them discipline. It's given them an understanding of where their life is and where my life is. And that's one of the few things that's mine. So I wouldn't be somewhere and just I mean, to keep my kids busy, let them use my phone. It's not something I do. Um, and it's a win for me. By that I mean it's easy, it's consistent, um, and, it, and it sets a boundary, and uh, no one gets hurt, and um, it's just, it's, in general, it's a good practice for both the parent and myself, and the kid, myself and my kids. I don't give my kids gum. I don't give them gum because I think gum is bad for you. So why would I give them gum? I don't think gum serves any purpose. Maybe if we were flying somewhere and I thought like giving them a piece of gum would help them like pop their ears, clear their ears, maybe I would do it, but, but I've flown with the kids a bunch and um, I just, I would never give my kids gum. Doesn't make any sense to me. I wouldn't put high tops on my kids, number three, no high tops. I think high tops are bad for you. I think they impede your movement, I think, um, I mean, I didn't know this at the time, but recently I read that um, poor ankle flexion is what is at the root of root cause of a lot of people's bad knees so that they lose ankle flexion when they're young, their knees and hips compensate for it and get damaged. I don't know if that's true, but I know that in movement, the range of motion of your ankle is vital. And even that's why even putting on shoes on babies or on little kids, even shoes you'll see will impede ankle flexion. And I think once you lose that at a young age, you don't get that back. Um, so, uh, no, and so I would never put high tops on them and impede it even more. So no high tops, I don't do high tops. I did once, when maybe Avi was two, I bought him some red Converse, but I think I put them on them once and they were such trouble lacing up. And then later in the last year or two, I had this other thought about ankle flexion. So no high tops. Uh, number four, no TV when the sun is out. And when I mean no TV, I mean no TV, no iPad, no nothing. My kids are allowed to watch TV on Friday nights after the sun goes down and Sunday nights, sorry, Friday nights when the sun goes down and Saturday nights when the sun goes down. So they usually choose a movie and that's it. Um, I noticed that the sun's been going down earlier, so they're wanting to watch movies earlier. I've been kind of like fighting it off, but a couple Friday and Saturday night nights, they've gotten in two movies. The only exception that I can think of that I make to that is when the kids go to jujitsu, while Avi's waiting for the twins class to be over, I'll let him watch like 15 minutes of iPad. Although lately he's been just skateboarding out front and not watching any iPad. And then the same with the twins. Avi's class is about an hour long. So the first half an hour, I make the twins watch the warm up and a little bit of technique, and then I give them like 15 to 20 minutes of iPad at the end. Other than that, no screen time. There's really no exception to that. It's just Friday and Saturday, and there's no complaints. Like, they know. Super firm on that. It's very, very strict. Uh, number five, my kids, I don't feed my kids garbage. And I'm about, the, those other things I mentioned, I would say I'm between 95 and 100%. This, I'm about 90%. So I let them eat garbage at birthday parties, their own birthday party, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, but like not after Halloween. Like that night they eat a few pieces of candy and then I throw the rest, rest of their candy away. I don't do any switch witch, I don't do any of that, I just throw it away. Um, I don't feed them cereals, I don't feed them crackers, I don't, uh, 
diet is basically, you know, whole foods and healthy stuff. Um, I do feed them beef jerky, has no sugar and no nitrates. Um, that's usually like the on the go snack. But um, like no Fruit Loops, no, no hot dogs with sugar in them, no syrup, um, no pancakes, unless they're those hippie pancakes that are like made with banana. Um, lately I have been probably in the last six months lightened up on the fruit. I've been letting them eat a lot more fruit. Um, uh, guavas and apples were just in season here, so they've been eating a lot of guavas and apples out of the yard. But um, I just don't put garbage into my kids. And they don't ask for garbage. It's just, it's just the way it is. I mean, they ask for it, but it's not a, it's not a battle, you know? They'll see something and they'll be like, oh, can we get some ice cream? And I just say no, and they, they know. It's just no. Uh, originally this list was gonna be five, and then I just thought of number six. I don't hit my kids. And I don't hit my kids for several reasons. You shouldn't hit kids. You shouldn't hit anybody. Um, you, I, I would, I would, I would never uh, feel good afterwards about hitting them. So there's that selfish reason. Um, but the most important thing, the most important reason, um, and I learned this from my wife, is if you hit someone, that shows them that you're out of control. And basically, everything that you do around your kids, you are showing them. That's how you should handle a situation. So not only are you spanking your kid for, let's say, whatever they did, drawing on the wall, but then they're learning that hitting someone is an option. So whenever I lose control, I just hit them. So whenever they lose control, they should just hit someone. And then even deeper than that, one level kind of deeper than that is they see losing control as an option of handling situations. And I don't want to teach my kids that. I don't, I don't think that's a... Uh, I don't think that's a behavior, characteristic, personality trait that I want my kids to have, losing control. So those are the six things that I wanted to share with you guys that I don't do.